Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, 6th and 8th grade scholars. I just want to give you a couple of new announcements. I've been out for a week. And I'm feeling much better, and I'm so excited at the nine weeks that we have ahead of us. That's right. You have nine weeks, and for that class of 2028, your final nine weeks, I want you to ask, are you doing something different? Or are you doing the same thing you've been doing the entire school year? And how's that working out for you? So take a minute to really reflect on what you can do differently or what you should continue to do the same in your last nine weeks at your middle school. Also want to let you know that it's very different when you send a student that has straight F's to high school and a student that has A's and B's to high school. Both are going to high school. It's called social promotion. I can't have eighth graders here that are 16 years old driving themselves to school. Can't do that. So we have to socially promote you, the straight F student and the A and B student. But that student, those two students in high school are gonna have very different experiences. So if you're that straight F student, there's a few more weeks until you will not be invited or able to attend your last week of activities and promotion. I don't know if that makes you sad, but it makes me sad. So I, and I'm sure it makes your parents sad. So in three and four weeks, every student that has not met the criteria to attend promotion or the last week, you will have a meeting with me or the counselors so that there are no surprises. Nine weeks and you have three weeks to turn it around or you will not be part of promotion or the final week activities. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but every year I hear it, I didn't know or maybe you thought it wasn't real. This is real. You will not be able to attend promotion or the last week if you are a straight F student. So please turn it around, there's still time. Also wanted to comment on Pozole. We had Pozole yesterday with our uh, lunch ladies that did such a great job. They chopped up the cabbage, chopped up the radishes, put in a little cup, uh, poured the Pozole. That might not seem like a big deal to you, but trust me, those are human hands chopping enough for 500 students to get cabbage and radishes on top of their Pozole. So what, Dr. Salas, who cares? I care. Because what I saw today is a couple of students getting those uh, cabbage containers and throwing them and flinging them across the tables. That's unacceptable. And you know better, we're nine weeks before the school year ends, so there's no warning. I um, am going to ask the uh, kitchen ladies to not make pozole for the remainder of the school year because of the way that you are treating the condiments that took them so long to prepare. You know who you are, that you were completely using this as play, and food is not play. If your family has ever made pozole, you know how much money it takes to make the pozole, and you know how much time it takes. So I'm just really embarrassed that uh, some of you continue to use food as a toy. So I am going to unfortunately let the ladies know that their hard work was not appreciated, and we will not have pozole for the remainder of the school year. Also, uh, last but not least, I want to invite you on Thursday. We have our report card night, April 4th. 6th, 7th, and 8th grade teachers are all going to be in the activity room. Your, you can, your parents can meet your teachers. You can go over your current grades, ask any questions that you have. We're going to have TK Burgers here. There's going to be a food truck um, open to you from 445 in the afternoon on. I can't buy you all dinner. You'll have to buy your own dinner, but it is a special price for students and families. So come join us on April 4th. The entire school is open. So if you wanted to say hi to your past teachers, you can do that, especially the class of 2028. This would be a great time for you to say your thank yous and your goodbyes as the whole school will be open April 4th from 445 until
until 6.30 p.m. Make sure you are with your parent because this event is for families, especially your parents. Okay, I think that's it for this week. Have a wonderful week of learning and I'll see you during the last eight weeks of school.